Okay, so after a recent video, I figured I'd try a bit more with browsers on the Raspberry Pi. Now, I established that 64-bit is definitely better, but I'm back on 32-bit only because uh, I wanted to try the Puffin browser because I was just intrigued as to how a cloud-based browser uh, was going to work. So let's have a look. So let's go to Pi Apps and install that first. So we go to Internet and Browsers. Yeah, Puffin is on here. It didn't show up on the 64-bit, so it must not be compatible. So let's not worry about that, and let's just install it. And after I've got the results for Puffin, I'll put them all together, and I'll go back into 64-bit and uh, try Firefox and maybe a few others. Okay, so Puffin's all installed now, so I'm going to switch off the camera because that will obviously affect performance. And let's launch Puffin. There you go. So I've tidied up uh, and I've just included the end results and nothing else in there, otherwise it's going to get a bit cluttered. So let's open that up and paste this in and start the test. Whoa, 31.4. So that's way better. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got 16.7 on 32-bit and 64-bit. This is Chromium on Raspberry Pi OS, uh, those two results. Let's just have a look at the details. Yeah, and it was consistent, to be fair. This is an operating system I use on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, it, uh, because it's a very low-powered device, it doesn't need as much RAM because of the way the Puffin web browser works. And the reason it's so fast is, as Puffin say on their website, Puffin web browser shifts computing tasks from local devices to cloud servers. This means even the most resource demanding web pages can load at incredible speeds, saving up to 90% of bandwidth on regular browsing through our proprietary algorithm. And it is impressive. So next up, let's do speed battle. Paste and go. Okay, so 669.24. Uh, so just double checking down the bottom. Yeah, higher numbers equals better performance. So if I go to my document here, 669.24 is much better than 32-bit and 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS running Chromium. So another win for Puffin. I wasn't really expecting this. So Web XPRT, let's try that. And I'm going to, um, this is running at 150% size. So I've just put it back to standard size because there's a lot more information on screen on this one. So continue. And let's start the test. And see if it whips through this. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now because it's uh, it's won that as well. So 65, and uh, that's quite considerably better than even 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS. So you can see here that 57 on 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS and 49 on 32-bit, but we've got 65 on Puffin. What's interesting as well, though, is that um, the browser is detected as Chrome 69 whereas the browser was detected as Chrome 98, so a much, much newer browser. Um, but I can't believe they're using that older system. I wonder if it's a mistake. But let's carry on. There's one more test to do while I'm still in the 32-bit operating system, and that's Whirlpool. Okay, let's go. Well, that looks a bit jumpy. Maybe this will be the Achilles heel because it's also, oh, it's in 150%. Is that why I haven't got a button to say start? So I click on here. Okay, so start test. Yeah, that's definitely a lot jerkier. Oh, and it, it so it quits quite quickly, which I think is a, is a bad thing because it says when it gets to less than 10 FPS, that's when it goes on to the next test. So we might, yeah, and that looks jerky as well. Yeah, that's pretty jerky as well. Yeah, also jerky and slow. I would say this is what's gonna uh, be the problem with it. It's not as good for any kind, any kind of graphics on screen. Okay, so 1014. So if we go back to here, so it's definitely higher, but I don't know uh, if higher score, I thought higher score was better. Let's just double check on their website. Let's go back to this bit. There's not a lot of information on here, is there? But it definitely isn't better um, because the, the results on screen were really jerky. Uh, and in fact, if I show that same thing on 
Chromium. I better shut down Puffin so I've not got two browsers running at the same time. Let's paste that in. Yeah, much smoother. So if it is higher score is better results, then actually it's not the true story in this picture. I'll try it on my iPad. And my iPad is a powerful piece of kit. You can see uh, the difference in how they're coping. Uh, it's flying around on here. So let's give that a benchmark. And uh, obviously if this comes up higher, then we know that higher is definitely the best way. Yeah, I mean, it's flying through that completely different. In fact, if I put this one on. So the longer the test goes, the better, because it's showing that it's still above 10 FPS and it's on 59 at the moment. And if I click on Chromium, uh, you'll see that it gives up fairly soon. Look how many blocks are on there. Yes, yeah, so this is already at 25 FPS. This is still at 45, but there's loads more blocks. I don't know if they've got enough blocks to trip up my iPad Pro. Finally finished on 7,538, so definitely the higher score is better. So if we go back into that document, but it wasn't running as well. So I'm gonna put sluggish on here just so I can remember it. So now let's switch over to 64-bit and start installing some different browsers. As you can see from the taskbar, I've got several different browsers in here now. So Chromium was already in there. Then we've got Min, Tor, Vivaldi, Quartz, and Firefox. There were some more in PyApps, but um, the others failed to install. So uh, luckily with PyApps, it shows you what you've got installed. So if I go to Internet and Browsers, here we can see Browse H failed to install. Uh, Chromium is already installed, so that's why it's got an X by it. Epiphany also failed to install, and uh, Pale Moon also came up with an error. Um, but uh, that's enough to be going on with. So let's open up the first one, which is Min, and I'm going to do the same four tests. And all of these results will be in the description. So in Whirlpool, Min is nice and smooth uh, on all of these tests so far. So definitely better than Puffin, even though the results might not show it. So you can pause this if you want to read the results so far. Now there's a whole lot of other reasons to use Tor, um, but I'm going to do the speed test in the same way anyway. But because of this, Tor browser routes your traffic over the Tor network. I'm guessing it's going to be slower, but uh, very secure and access some websites that you can't normally access particularly useful in some parts of the world at the moment. 13.3 is still respectable considering all the extra security and the rerouting that Tor does. Well, that was unexpected. We got our best score so far for XPRT3 uh, with 74, which is uh, quite considerably better than Puffin. But the speedometer score was very low uh, and also the speed battle score was extremely low. Whirlpool on Tor is very jerky and also won't let me start it. So I can hover over uh, and I did get a pointer every now and then, but it doesn't seem to want to start. So it's going to have to be a zero for Whirlpool. Okay, so next up, Vivaldi, and uh, people have definitely recommended Vivaldi to me in the past. Let's start the four tests. Okay, that's those all done. So let's close that down and start up the Quartz browser and start the process again. This has got a very retro looking browser. Okay, so Quartz appears to have crashed on speedometer. Um, it's not doing anything and hasn't been doing anything for a while, so I'll move on to the next test. Yeah, that worked fine. Okay, so that crashed out, so that's a zero for that one. It's already looking jerky, but at least it's going to let me start the test. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so Quartz crashed on Whirlpool as well, so another zero, so not looking too good for Quartz. Right, the last one is Firefox which I've always felt feels probably the fastest, um, but uh, it may not be that way, but certainly web pages seem to load up quick on Firefox. And let's go. Okay, so speedometer two, 15.7 by Firefox, which is a bit disappointing really, because uh, on the list, uh, so we've got Quartz with zero, Tor with 13.3, Firefox with 15.7, Chromium on 32-bit at 16.7, Chromium on 64-bit at 18.6, uh, Vivaldi on 19.0 with 64 bits, uh, and 64-bit min at 19.9. So uh, Puffin is is the winner of that test, although Puffin is, is a hard one to judge. Um, so of the conventional browsers, min is the one that wins on Speedometer 2 at 19.9.
So Speed Battle, uh, Tor was the worst at 42.56. Firefox still pretty bad, 156.14 for one of the big name browsers. Uh, Min, 287.66. Quartz, 304.78, one of the tests that it did finish. Vivaldi, 311.89. Uh, Chromium on 32-bit, 389.59. Chromium on 64-bit, 392.64. And uh, again, Puffing comes up the top on this test, but not a conventional browser. So again, difficult to test, but a much higher score at 669.24. So XPRT3 on Firefox, 64-bit. And let's start that one. So XPRT uh, Firefox did fine on uh, 57, which is the same as 64-bit Chromium. So uh, yeah, that's a respectable score, only beaten by Puffin, and strangely beaten by Tor, which was very strange. And it reported it as Firefox 91 on Tor. Uh, this reports as Firefox 98. So I can't really quite explain that, but it was a good score for Tor. So Whirlpool is looking a bit sluggish. Uh, let's click on this. That looks all right, though. Okay, so uh, Whirlpool's score wasn't that great on Firefox either, only 249. So if we look at the, the chart here, yeah, Quartz and Tor didn't even finish the test. Then Firefox is third from last. Vivaldi, uh, so Firefox had 249, Vivaldi had 365, Chromium 32-bit had 422, 64-bit Min browser 457, 64-bit Chromium at 512. And uh, the top score was Puffin with 1,014, but that was very sluggish, so doesn't really count. So I would say definitely from these tests, uh, Chromium 64-bit comes up consistently high. So that is definitely the browser I will be continuing to use. The great thing about it is that it comes pre-installed in Raspberry Pi OS. There may be something you use one of these different browsers for that works better, um, but I think overall Chromium seems to work very well now and uh, is the number one choice for the Raspberry Pi in my eyes. But it has to be mentioned that Puffin had some incredible results and also Puffin on a low powered, uh, low RAM device, so something like a 02W, maybe something like a Pi 3, it does perform so much better than other browsers. In fact, Chromium is, I think, pretty much unusable on a Raspberry Pi 02W. Even though it's quite a powerful device, just doesn't have enough RAM. But that's where Puffin steps in and becomes very usable as a web browser. Um, but if you've got enough power, so say for instance, possibly two gig Pis, definitely four gig and eight gig Pis, I would use the Chromium browser on 64-bit OS. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.